Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an Ipsy bag video. Um, I know I don't usually do these, but I decided that I'm going to start showing you what's in my Ipsy bag because when I do my makeup inventory update, my numbers are going to change because I am still getting my Ipsy bags. Um, so I just decided to show you what I'm getting in my Ipsy bag. Um, another thing before we start... Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I did break my no-buy. I bought the Tarte Mermaid palette, which looks like this if you haven't seen it. And the only reason why I bought it was because it was my birthday. And this is the only thing that I bought for my birthday. So, my eyeshadow numbers are going to change a little bit when you see my eyeshadow project pan update. Um, but... Yes, I did break my no-buy. I did buy this, but it was my birthday, and that's the only thing that I bought. So, let's just jump right into the video. Here is the pink envelope. And now, I do sometimes cheat and look at what I get. So, I kind of know what I'm going to get, but... This is the bag, and looking on the app, it shows that they have it in black and white, so you can color it in. I thought that was kind of cool. So it has, like, people all over it, and I think that was, like, be an, like, be an individual, and you can show your individuality with this bag. It has a nice pink zipper. Let's open it up and see what we get. Oh, here's the card. Create March Ipsy 2018. So the first thing that I got is a brush. This is the Scone Large Shadow Brush. And oh, it looks like this. I always like getting brushes because you can never have too many brushes. And this one feels like a good one. The handle feels sturdy. And I think I'll get a lot of use out of that. So we have a brush. We have the City Color Duo Glow Cream Highlight and Powder Highlight. How do I open this? Let's see. Got it. I appreciate that they wrap things in bubble wrap so that they don't break in transit, but bubble wrap is kind of annoying. So it looks like this. So we have a cream highlight and powder highlight. Doesn't look like there's a shade name or anything. So this one's the cream and this one's the powder. Let's swatch it. I'm not really into cream highlights, but we'll see. I'll try it out. Maybe next time like next month i can tell you once i tried the products out how i liked them so those are the swatches there the powder highlight is the more golden one and the more lighter one is the cream highlight they look pretty i don't know if i could use this darker one until the summer but it might make a really pretty eyeshadow not that I need any more eyeshadow. So we have the City, City Color Glow Duo. The next thing, oh, here's the marker. So you get a pink marker and a green marker to color in the bag. This next thing is a Hikari Cream Pigment in Shine. Let's see, how do you open this? This packaging's not very great, but this is the color. I don't know what they mean by cream pigment. Is like a cream eyeshadow? Oh, that's weird. It feels like a regular eyeshadow, but it's so pigmented. It's like a in-your-face gold, but it's not like a, like, it doesn't feel like a cream. It just... It kind of feels like a pressed pigment. 
So that's the Hikari Cream Pigment in Shine. One, two, three. So we have two more things in this bag. The next thing is the Gold Fadden MD Facial Detox Clarify and Clear Mask. So it's a mask for oily, acne-prone skin, which is good because I don't know if you can tell, but I my face is breaking out pretty bad right now. Um, what does it smell like? Let's see. Oh, it's sealed. Let's open it. I really need to mask more. I have a ton of masks, and I rarely ever use them. I can't smell it. Maybe it has no scent. I don't know. I'll use it this month, and I'll let you know in next month's video if you want to know how it went. Um, but it says... Dr. Goldfadden's purifying mask effectively draws out bacteria and pore clogging debris, revealing cleaner, blemish-free skin. So that's interesting. I love when I get masks in empty bags because they're tiny sizes and I can use them up. And the last thing is a sample of Tarte Sex Kitten Liner. And I thought that this was going to be bigger. This is quite a tiny eyeliner size. So this might go into my project pan next time. So it's a really interesting eyeliner sample, but once you twist up, you can twist it back down. So let's see. It's just a black eyeliner. I was pretty excited to try this out. Um, I've never really tried Tarte's eyeliner, so I have Tarte's, oops, let's turn that off. Sorry about that. I have Tarte's Sex Kitten Eyeliner. So just to recap, we got the Scone Large Shadow Brush, the City Color Duo Glow Palette, the Hikari Cream Pigment in Shine, and Dr. Gold Fadden's uh, Acne Mask, and lastly, Tarte Sex Kit and Eyeliner. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see me do these kind of videos in the future, please leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see these products in next month's video and how I liked them, please leave a comment down below as well. And please hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Bye!